Hi startups, welcome for the home sweat home workout with me Dr. Puru. Today we are going to do dragonfly pose in hatha yoga. This is a very good pose that involves the arm balance, little bit of twisting, a little bit of hip opener and it's a co complete workout for us. Be ready. Let's start with the pranayama, anulom viloma. So you take your right hand, you close your right nostril by the thumb. You inhale by the left nose, hold your left nose, close it by the ring finger and exhale by the right nose. Inhale by the left right nose, close your right nose and exhale through the left nose. Inhale, left nose again, close and exhale by the right nose. Inhale, the right nose, close the right nose and exhale by the left nose. This is two rounds of Anulom Viloma. This is a very good practice to balance our body and mind. Very good. So this is going to help you to improve your mental power. It is going to make you mentally sharp. You can become a very intelligent person by performing Anulom Viloma. So that's a very good bringing exercise as a warm-up exercise for us. Now we're going to do physical warm-up by performing the sun salutation. Are you ready to get warmed up? Let's have a very good sweat flow workout. So let's stand up. You go for the Tadasana Samastitihi. Exit. Classical sun salutation in Hatha Yoga. Inhale, arm rising pose. And exhale, forward fold. Right leg is step back, inhale for the lunges and uh, left leg step back, downward facing dog. High plank, inhale. For the option easy, you can go on your knees and perform Chaturanga. Inhale, perform the cool drop and exhale, downward facing dog. Please uh, step forward, right leg for the lunge, inhale and exhale standing forward fold please raise your hands up inhale exhale for prayer pose inhale arm rising fold and exhale forward fold lift the leg back lunge inhale Exhale, downward facing dog. Stretch your hips back nicely. Float to the high plank. Inhale. An easy option. Knee on the floor and chant wrong. Roll your shoulders. Lengthen your spine. Inhale, cobra. And exhale. Push your hips back for the downward facing dog. Left leg step in front if you're not able to you got to grab your foot in in front and standing forward fold please stretch your hands raise your hands up exhale breath inhale arm rising fold exhale forward fold Right leg, step back, lengthen the body, inhale and exhale, downward dog. This exercise is really good for you if you like to burn a lot of fat from your body. Are you ready to burn the fat? Let's do Chaturanga without option. Inhale, Cobra, lengthen the spine up. Exhale, downward dog. Please step forward, right leg, lunge, inhale. And a standing forward fold, hexing. 
please raise hands up inhale and exhale for prayer inhale arm rising exhale forward fold lift your leg step back inhale let us burn the fat and we can reduce the body weight by performing this exercise you want to lose weight let's perform the strong chaturanga you ever made before inhale for the cobra exhale push your palms and nicely ground your foot on the mat step forward lift your foot fluid flow motion for the lunges standing forward fold arm rise inhale exhale for prayer inhale arm rising exhale forward fold kiss your knees if it is possible for you right leg is step back lunge inhale exhale downward facing dog high plank inhale chaturanga exhale cobra inhale exhale downward facing dog please step forward right leg lunge inhale and exhale standing forward fold inhale arm rise let us improve the prana shakti in the body let's take the cosmos energy inhale exhale deep forward fold and kiss your knees lift your leg back lunge inhale downward facing dog exhale feel the hamstrings nicely stretching inhale high plank and exhale push inhale up for the cobra lengthen up the body exhale downward facing dog please step forward lunge inhale standing forward fold exhale arm rise full length full reach of the body exhale for the prayer pose namaste now for let's go for the main postures inhale arm rising exhale forward fold right leg step back lunge exhale downward facing dog and you're going to perform the warrior two step forward right leg in between your hands so for warrior two open your left hand inhale and exhale open your right hand and left hand in one same line parallel to the floor inhale and exhale deep in the pose feel the legs become more strong in this pose and inhale let's for, go for the reverse warrior pose and get into the parshva konasana preparation elbow resting over the thighs and rise your left arm closer towards the ears breathe in from the nose exhale deep in the pose and now slowly come down to bring the hand down on the floor for the lunges feel the legs become big, more strong and let's go back to perform the plank if you can go up for the three leg plank balance the pose and nicely go for the half chaturanga push and rise the body up let's go for the three leg dog and now step forward your leg for the warrior one position inhale rise hands up and exhale go for the humble warrior feel the legs become more strong you can improve your stamina and the muscle endurance by this exercise humble warrior exhale let us go down and deepen the exercise is a easy option you can stay with your head to the knee height if you can you can go with a deeper exhalation to challenge your head almost down towards the mat 
Perfect. Can you go more deeper? Head down to the mat. Great job. In and now inhale from the nose. Take your hands up. And a exhale. Let's go down. So this is a very important pose. So you bring the knee down on the mat and just lengthen the body. And you now you can open your leg because in order to perform the dragonfly, you need to open your hips. So bring your elbows down on the mat. You feel the hip flexor is nicely opening up and can you go much more performing the low lizard pose, extending the hand in the front. Perfect. Can you go stretch a little bit more? Cool. And now let's come back. Breathe in from the nose. And you're going to make into the awkward pigeon pose by performing. You open your foot like this. And you take your hands up on your knees and open your body. Gently open your spine and lift up the torso nice and long. Can you feel the nice stretch here in the hip and also around your buttocks area in the right side? Very good job. So now, please step back your legs for the downward facing dog. High plank, inhale. Exhale, half chaturanga. Stay here, stay strong. And come back. Let's go for the downward facing dog. One more time. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, full chaturanga. Let's go down and deeper. Inhale, rise the body up. Lengthen the torso. And exhale, let's go back. Performing downward facing dog. Stay grounded on the mat. Very good job. And now you want to perform the other side. Same exercises. Let's go. Perform warrior two. So open up your hands and the legs. Bring the hip down nice and deeper. Open your right hand and check your left hand. Align with your right and left equally. Breathe in from the nose. Make sure you tuck your tailbone in and bend your knee above the ankle joint in line with the toes. Graze at your thumb and much more deepen the pose. Feel the legs become more strong because this helps you to slim down the fat around your thighs so that you can fit your legs, the jeans inside the legs nicely goes in. You can get a nice slim thighs. Reverse warrior inhale. And the partial konasana, the preparation. You bring the arms closer to the ears and stretch the whole arms. Pull your kneecap. And can you go much more lower than this position? Take your palms on the mat and extend the body. Feel the legs nicely getting strong and also flexible. Please bring your right hand and bring your hip to down nicely activate your legs make sure the body is nicely lengthened through breathe in from the nose and you can go back check your leg for the three leg plank as an option easy you can keep your knee you can keep your foot on the mat or also both knees on the mat but if you like to challenge with me please take your leg up now come on Feel strong because for performing the arm balances, you need a core getting really warm and stronger, right? Inhale, let's go up to three leg dog. And you can gently go forward, breathe in from the nose. Let's float up to the warrior one position. Inhale. And exhale, deep. Hips down to the warrior one position, deeper and deeper. Let's go down to the humble warrior position. Join your hands back. Inhale. And exhale. Let's bow down and stay as humble as 
we can to surrender our body and the mind to the practice of yoga. Breathe in from the nose. Breathe out to go much more deeper at every exhalation. Because every exhalation makes your body become more flexible. So you can really bow down and reach the floor. Perfect. How do you feel now? Let's keep your legs are become burning the fat a lot. And perfectly come down. Bring the hands on the mat and the knee on the floor. Oh, a lot of sweat, right? So let's go with your elbow down gently to perform the lizard pose. And you can gently extend the lizard pose like this because it improves your flexibility basically. If the legs become more strong, your body become more strong and more flexible in this position. From here, you can go to the awkward pigeon pose because we need it for the dragonfly pose. Take your hands up over your left knee and turn your body, rotate side. Breathe in from the nose, open the torso, open the body more. You can feel a stretch here in the left buttocks and the right hip open and the quadriceps and the hip flexors. Perfect. And now slowly come down, breathe in from the nose. You can step back, downward facing dog. Breathe in and move forward in a half chaturanga. Stay here and push up. Breathe in, breathe out. Let's go deeper down. One more time. Breathe in from the nose. And now this time from half to full chaturanga. Squeeze your belly, squeeze your buttocks, squeeze your thighs. Lengthen through the body up. Perfect and go to the downward facing dog. So you can uh, heels up, knees bend, you can step or you can jump forward to float into the heart of the Uttanasana and go down to the full Uttanasana. Breathe in all the way, lengthen up the body, rise, back bending, out of the Uttanasana. And exhale, let's go for the Hasta Uttanasana to the prayer pose. Now inhale, up rising. Let's perform the one leg chair. Along with this, a small twisting. So to balance the body, you can keep your hands down. As an easy option, you can hold your hip. Your right leg folded like a figure four position. And you can Twist your body nice and deeper. Stay here and feel your whole body is nicely rotating as a preparation towards the dragonfly. And slowly get down your hand, shake your right leg, step back for performing the Parivarta Parshukonasana, the revolved side angle pose. Bring the hip down and rise your chest up, lengthening the torso. Let's go more deeper and deeper in this position. Breathe in from the nose. Please bring the hands down and you can step back for the three leg dog. Extend your body up. Push your palms here and to perform opening the leg out, the three leg dog variation here. Breathe in from the nose, extend your heels. Let's go stretch out more. Stay strong, perfect. And you're gonna step forward your leg into the Vashishtasana here. Breathe in from the nose and open your left hand up. Lengthen up the torso, lift your body up. Let's stretch up, extend your leg and extend your hand up. 
perfect breathe in from the nose and breathe out a small variation in this pose from here you go bend the back leg the right leg and you can cross here so you can perform the Hardha Matsendrasana take your right hand and hold your left leg and twist the body here this is a very good pose for diabetes for cholesterol so if you want to reduce sugar blood sugar one yoga pose is half spinal twisting Ardha Matsendrasana really good pose and slowly go crossing the legs for the fire log pose you can feel the buttocks muscles nicely getting opened up and you can extend your hand here breathe in from the nose extend the body nice and deeper and slowly roll back lengthen up the body go forward watch take your palms here and you can go step back it's almost again like a awkward pigeon this time you're going to enter shake your leg to the other side the left leg to the right side and you're going to extend the body so nice and deep you see here you rotate your body nicely as you rotate your body you can go much more deeper a very good exercise to improve your hip opening as much as possible breathe in from the nose and now let's rise up and lengthen the torso and entering into the variation for the wild things position here breathe in and breathe out to extend the body more ah how do you feel now the body is nicely opened up and now slowly come back and step back in nicely variation of the downward dog ah and then now go for the downward for facing dog breathe in from the nose let's move for the chaturanga then the asana stay strong shoulders back squeeze your buttocks squeeze your core muscles and then roll the body up perfect exhale downward facing dog you can step or you can jump for Hardha Uttanasana, inhale ah. and then now exhale for performing a deeper standing forward fold, Uttanasana inhale to rise, hands up, lengthen that body Hasta Uttanasana and the prayer pose let's perform the sequence, the other side inhale and exhale for the one leg chair pose and from here as a basic preparation you can take your hand just cross if you could do this a little bit more deeper you take your arms closer to the foot and you can perform the prayer pose in this position you need to have a good balance and of course balance improves your mental sharpness if you are a student this exercise helps for your intelligence in studies if you're workers this makes you more smart to perform your daily work slowly come down to revolve side angle pose check your arms and you can perform the prayer pose so bring your hip down and open up the torso to stretch the body much more breathe and open to the grace perfect slowly come down breathe in from the nose and breathe out to extend your leg back for three leg dog from the three leg dog imagine a dog want to pee you extend open your leg for the dog pee exercise extending the leg your heels has to be more energized push your palms and stay stronger yeah. 
Come on, you ground your left foot on the mat. And then now step forward to the Vashishtasana. Breathe in from the nose, exhale. Just a variation in the Vashishtasana, right? Extend your hand, open up the body. A preparation of our Vashishtasana. Like a side plank, you open up the body more. Breathe in from the nose. Breathe out through the nose. Open up the body more. And then now, let's go for the Ardha Matsendrasana here. Check your leg. The right, left foot. Right foot closer to the hip. And taking your left arm, holding your right leg, you twist your body. Much more twisting. You press your thighs against your abdomen and it helps for you to take the poop out. If you are not able to poop regularly, you drink nearly about one glass of water, warm water, and you take the thighs press against your abdomen and helps you to poop regularly in the morning. This is really a good tip for you. Let's go for twisting the body. And now, let's go for the fire log, Agni Stambhasana. Because it helps to prepare our hips, nicely opening up the body. Stay grounded with the foot above the knee, knee above the foot. And we extend forward. Keep your tailbone nicely digging on the mat. And you extend the body forward, the hands in the front. And slowly roll up, gently check your hands back, you step forward, taking leg again, awkward pigeon, breathe in from the nose and you cross your leg. After crossing, you go with your hip down and you take your hip, nicely rotate in the front, breathe in from the nose. Again, breathe out, check your hip down and let's go for the variations, all the variations in the wild things pose. Extend your hands up. Feel the nice chest opener along with the hip opener in this pose. Ah, feel the heart chakra is opened. This opens up your heart chakra so that you can get the unconditional love and the yogic joy going all over the body slowly come back enter into the downward facing dog so you can also perform this nicely variation of the twisted donut facing dog and slowly go for the plank position inhale exhale half chaturanga come up and enter into the full chaturanga perfect and then roll your body up Lengthen your body, exhale to go for the deeper downward facing dog. Perfect. So thus, you can, your body is already ready with the leg strength because for performing a dragonfly, you need to have a good leg strength and also core strength. So let's go to the both pose that gets your upper legs, the quadriceps, more strong and also your core strength. Extend. Breathe through the nose, inhale, breathe out through the nose again because in yoga we do exhale through the nose, pull your belly, perfect, cross your leg, push your palms, lift your hip up because engaging the lattice muscles and your armpit helps for your nice balance, lift your body up, more again, forward. Now this time you go join your palms in the Namaskar Mudra and you perform a rotation. <sighs> Lift your leg up and perform the rotation. Can you do this challenge? Come on. You can do the option easy, still perform the rotation. Breathe in from the nose. Breathe out, rotate. Perfect. Can you extend your leg up? And last time, let's go. Lift your leg up. Rotate. <sighs> Feel the rotator muscles getting more strong. You can, your belly becomes slim. <sighs> Check your leg up. 
and cross your leg breathe in from the nose lift your body up perfect and then now let's go to malasana the lower geek squat position how are you all the body parts is getting ready now let's go for the peak postures that is the side crawl in order to perform the side crawl you can perform the low squat the tiptoe squat and now you're performing the left side first bringing both the palms on the mat breathe in from the nose and lift your body up and extend your leg breathe through the nose you can perform slowly to the ekapada kondanyasana lift and lengthen up the body more this is a nice warm up exercise ah for performing dragon saw guys right take a deep breath and now let's perform the other side same exercise the side crow and the ekapada kondanyasana so let's bring the palms on the mat your arms nice deeper the tip is here your arms must go deeper into the thighs you push your palms and lift your body up extend the body your chest has to go forward your head has to go forward balance and from here you go split your legs slowly and energize your leg up balance the body nice yes and then you can come back and rest so your tip is here how far you can take your foot your arms in front deeper into the thigh that is the one that makes your body get ready so now the main pose dragon fly if you couldn't perform the dragon fly easy option is this the baby grass hopper okay so we can take your palms like this Yeah this is a nice exercise. So you see I show you step by step the other side you take your palms down and you take the leg back like this. Okay? So this is the baby grass opa you can hold your foot and you can enjoy the variations. This is the beginner level option. Now if you can perform the exercise the dragon fly. So You, you can start from the one leg chair as we already body is prepared let's perform the main sequence the dragon fly let's start from the one leg chair pose and you can slowly bring your left palm on the mat your right palm also on the mat you see the your arms fixing to the foot that is very very important to perform this nicely getting the support breathe in from the nose lift and lengthen your leg the left leg and balance your body perfect slowly come back breathe in from the nose breathe out let's perform the other side check the other leg cross one leg chair breathe in from the nose and you can take your palms directly in the front for getting a nice support knees and the foot together let's go rise and lengthen up the body you push your palms on the arm and lift your leg up come on fly like a dragon fly <laughs> come back slowly come back breathe in from the nose and the breathe out forward fold perfect come back the important tip for you in this exercise you see here your foot after crossing your foot yeah your arm has to go deeper after getting the arms deep you go forward and then you rise the body 
and you can extend the body move forward that's what is going to make you more enter into more deeper deeper and deeper position like this you see you take your foot it's another way of entering the pose you take your arms nicely fixed and then you open your leg out huh. so you can repeat as many as po much as possible because this is the peak pose of dragon fly pose huh. cool And exhale, let's perform the Badagonasana simple hip opener. Open up your shoulder, lift your chest up, and bring the hips down, the chest down, extend it through the pose. Feel your heart rate, it slowly must come down. And then gently bring your legs together. Ah. Let's perform the figure four in the seated. Take your palms back. Lift the chest up. Perfect. And now slowly come down. Let's change the other side. Make sure the chest is nicely open so you can inhale more this is a very good exercise you can slim down by performing this routine you can also make your fat burn you can also get detoxified by performing this exercise this is a nice routine that i love so much i guess you're also going to love that same so let's go breathe in from the nose breathe out let's perform the supine spinal twisting Let's give the rest for the body and also perform the supine. Breathe. Open your legs apart and your hands apart to perform the complete relaxation. Relax. Your whole body. Slowly turn to the side right and please come up. How are you? Enjoy the workout? So this is a nice workout where we build up the sequence slowly, step by step, step by step into the Hatha Yoga for the Dragonfly. Okay, so you can you start from the Pranayama Anulom Viloma because that helps for the balancing our body and the mind and also helps for the balancing the hormones. Gently come back and we finish go to the main sequence for dragonfly building up the postures. Hope you like the workout. You're going to perform this workout daily as much as possible so that you can get the mastery in the dragonfly. See you all in the next workout. Thank you so much.